Hey, what's up guys and welcome. So there was no upload yesterday and there was good reason. Uh, my first controller bust, my second controller broke and I was trying to record a foot draft team and my players basically, they just keep running up the pitch because it keeps thinking that I'm pressing up on my controller and that's not the case. So yeah, it, it was bust. I ordered a new one last uh, night. It came this morning. So it's all good. I'm back to black and I went and brought Team of the Year Iniesta. As soon as I saw he was in the Team of the Year as I expected him to be, I love this first inform wanted to bring him into a team and this I wouldn't recommend the team too much but there are a couple of players in here not only Iniesta but I've found I think the new Marcel Janssen and if you do enjoy my videos please do drop a like and if you are needing ultimate team coins because Iniesta is expensive head, head over to FIFAultimateteamcoins.com links below in the description use the code Fuji for 15% off or if you are wishing to purchase games you can head over to G28 for that and use the code Fuji all right let's meet the team and let's do it so this is what I was working with I built a a false nine team and you can see the theme going on here Newcastle United why uh I to be honest I don't even know I I fancied using Shelby sorry uh Chavi no it's it's Shelby he's got a good range of passing but he's he's not a Chavi he's not an Iniesta I was actually gonna do like a troll video and say the cheap Iniesta and say it was him but let's not let's not cause any problems right so we've got Shelby in the team uh we've got the purple hero one out him I actually really like him when I first used him I thought out on the left he's not gonna be that efficient but actually playing him in this team and I was really reliant on just good passing from Iniesta to set these uh, players up because they're not overly quick um, especially Mitrovic so the balls the, the actual quality of the passing has to be great and, and it was it was very very good so just to go through the team quickly we've got Alves in the goal we've got Mario Gaspar this guy has an inform if I'm not mistaken I quickly looked on uh, foothead and I saw that he was black I can't I think I did I did I, I think I did anyway well this non inform card is ridiculously good I really really like it he reminds me a lot like Marcel Janssen he's got the height he's got the pace when he's tracking back and, and your opponent are tr uh, trying to cut inside he literally just uses his strength just to barge them off the ball and really gain possession I really like him I didn't uh, notice him too much in games just because he was cleaning up and getting tackles in but actually if you pay attention to what he does uh, yeah he's not the quickest but I suggest to go and upgrade him go and buy his inform card and that should sort his pace out I'm definitely going to bring him into a team we've got Godin here inform Godin the, the, these stats are remarkable 74 pace which 70 pace would have been fine for him really like for a defender 94 defending and 90 physical amazing that is basically a team of the season and he's a rock in the defense and with pk as well it's a great partnership i probably would actually uh swap out pk and bring in maybe uh varan if you don't like the high attacking work rates i think varan has high defensive but pk he does he does do a good job there we've got Haidara left back i wouldn't recommend it we've got shelby i wouldn't recommend him he's not really like it Newcastle players aren't that great for building teams put it that way we've got Busquets in the middle we've got team of the year Iniesta love this guy absolutely love it he's dribbling on the ball he's passing we'll get into that once we do see what he's like on the pitch but his stats are lovely like you just can't get any better than that we've got Munir over in the right wing position that is a tidy player we've got Mitrovic just to hold up the play he's really slow actually in game uh, he's got a great finish if you can hit it right he does score some bangers but his pace really does affect him at times and then we've got hero white now in the left wing position i uh, like i say i wouldn't recommend the team too much but it's uh it's it's good fun it was good fun uh, it was to test my ability as well to see if i could actually score goals just without reliant on uh, pace and yeah it, it played well so let's get into the clips and see what iniesta mario gaspar godin are all like let's do it so i did play seven games I got three goals and five assists with Iniesta and I really like that stat because usually more often than not I'd play into my strikers and then they would actually find themselves getting more assists than my midfielders just because of my style of play like the ping pong passing but Iniesta what a player I like how he can just worm his way through a, a tight situation if a lot of defenders and, and midfielders are sort of closing you down he can do that his burst of acceleration as well if you flick the stick that's one thing I noticed not so much off the mark if, unless you do the no touch dribble but if you flick the stick with him he literally just starts jetting forward and i like that about iniesta he's not the quickest but yeah he will be able to get past a few players his finishing actually from range is great shoot it across goal you'll be able to score with him and obviously his range of passing 
actually affects uh, your opponents. Uh, it could be an average ball, but it just messes up your opponents where they won't be able to get their foot to it or they just miss it. It'll rebound and then go to your player anyway. So if you find him in space, he's going to be able to split your opponents apart. He's a very, very good player. But one thing I do want to mention is Godin. This guy deserved the team of the year. He's going to get a team of the season. He will more than likely get an upgrade and he's definitely a great investment. I paid 100,000 coins and he's just a solid defender. Not many people will be able to get past him. He reads the game well. He's very, very strong. He's Heading is incredible, and I just love the fact that he's partnered uh, next to uh, Mario Gesper. I, I actually really, really like this guy. I highly recommend to bring him his inform because, yes, you might find that he's not the quickest, and I think that inform card looks to uh, have sorted that out a little bit. So, big thumbs up from me. Gaspar seems to be the new uh, Marcel Janssen, where he's the closest that I've found so far uh, to replacing sort of the non rare beast. But definitely check him out. I, I like, I did enjoy the team but like i say i wouldn't recommend it because it is a little difficult attack with but when you've got iniesta the quality of that team of the year card he's just gonna destroy and hero one aldum uh, i used him ages ago i didn't think he was actually suited as a left mid but in that left wing position yes he does sort of dribble past players at ease at times but it all depends on on the quality of the, the actual player using him because it he's not the quickest his dribbling could be a little better and that might actually affect you but yeah if you want to build the team fair play go and do it but you can just put together so many other better teams with Godin, Iniesta and Mario Gesper those are the three players that I'm recommending you guys to go and try obviously Iniesta is expensive but he is well worth the coins like 600,000 and he can split open defenses I will take that so thanks ever so much for watching guys let me know if you tried any of those players and yeah I will see you guys on my next video sorry for no upload yesterday like I said uh, my controller bust but I got a new one so yeah thanks for watching team out Peace.